hello everyone. I'm going to present the paper Coffee Spoof, a new database for contactless fingerprint presentation attack detection research. And uh, this paper was done together with my colleagues Jascha Kohlberg, Christian Ratgeb and Christoph Busch at the DASEC research group uh, at Hochschule Darmstadt. Yeah, our research is about contactless fingerprint recognition and um, yeah, on the right hand side we can see an illustration of a contactless fingerprint um, capturing approach and yeah, we can see that there is no contact between um, the sensor device and the finger uh, print itself and yeah we are uh, using a smartphone for the uh, capturing of contactless fingerprint samples and yeah or for this reason we implemented uh, automatic capturing workflow which is based on the camera and uh, it also incorporates an on-device uh, pre-processing and as you can imagine uh, this method is attackable is vulnerable to attacks and um, yeah, as we can see, there is no contact between the sensor device and the, uh, the fingerprints. And for this reason, there are more um, attacks possible compared to contact-based fingerprint recognition. And also, um, the presentation attack detection is more challenging because we have no information directly from the sensor surface. And for this reason, we cannot measure, for example, the uh, energy of the finger um, for uh, detecting presentation attacks. And yeah, for this reason, um, we captured a, a database which is called uh, Call Free Spoof, uh, the contactless fingerprint spoofing database, and this incorporates. 72 different presentation attack instrument species and we incorporated a wide variety of different PAIs and in total we captured 7,200 samples. And these samples are captured uh, using our uh, smartphone based automatic capturing device and all samples are pre-processed and rotated that they are ready to process. And also we, um, uh, we uh, propose a bona fide pre-processing workflow since our database is not containing any, um, any bona fide uh, samples. And yeah, let's take a short look at the uh, recent works which came up in this uh, research area and we can see that there are uh, only a few works uh, dealing with uh, contactless fingerprint presentation attack detection most notably Tania et al proposed a huge database which uh, more than 8000 images but it only incorporates uh, print auto replay attacks so replay attacks to refer for to um, representing uh, the image on a on, on another screen to the a sensor device and also there was only a manual capturing method with no pre-processing of the um, presentation attacks. And our database um, is comprised of synthetic ridge line patterns, patterns which enable the easy distribution of our database to other research groups and we generated the uh, synthetic ridge patterns using the swinge algorithm uh, for the overlays and Synchro finger which is an, an synthetic contactless fingerprint generator um, for the printout attacks. And for the overlays, we uh, used 3D cut molds. You can see an example image um, of these molds uh, right at the bottom on the left hand side here. And we also incorporate the many different glues and paydos and silly putties, uh, which are most famous uh, in, or mostly used in the contact based uh, research area, but also are capable of attacking contactless uh, fingerprint sensors. And on the right hand side, here, here we can see in, um, many of our um, presentation attack instruments before they are assembled to, to real uh, attacks. Then. 
And yeah, we also incorporate a wide variety of different colors. So let's take a look at the database capturing. So we are using our automatic uh, application for capturing. This is the main advantage that all of our captured uh, presentation attacks are capable of attacking our real world uh, contactless fingerprint capturing device and also we have a consistent automatic uh, pre-processing and quality checking of um, the attack presentations. And yeah, to ensure a four fingerprint uh, finger capturing, we placed all presentation attack instruments on supporting material. For example, we use some um, wooden uh, support, which you can see on the bottom right hand side here, um, so that we are able to present the four um, presentation attacks at once. And also, um, due to the fact that we are not uh, incorporating any bona fide images here, we propose a semantic segmentation and rotation and normalization approach, which is basically the same which runs in our app, so um, that interested researchers can also use, for example, the ISPFD uh, database, which is publicly available, and processes this um, so that it uh, serves as bona fide presentation for uh, detection methods. So then we have uh, some sample images here. As I already said, we uh, ensured that our attack presentations are incorporating uh, real fingerprint characteristics and you can see it on the top uh, right side hand side here where we have a RGB image of a tech presentation and then an enhanced image in the middle here and we can also see then that if we um, are paste, uh, getting this um, into a fingerprint uh, feature extractor, uh, then we are able to extract some uh, minutia points here which uh, ensures that um, this fingerprint is, is able, this presentation attack is able to uh, attack uh, the scenario. So on the bottom here we can see a wide variety of different uh, materials we used for our attacks. And uh, yeah, we can see that we have some different glues and uh, LaTeX and some silly putty and also some different printouts, some obvious uh, printouts which we can see in the uh, image H here, but also some more realistic and um, some more realistic printouts and also some uh, more or less um, transparent overlays. We also propose a more elaborated leaf one out protocol and here the idea is to test our algorithms on unseen data during the training phase. And for this reason we grouped uh, our PAAs according uh, to similarity and one group here is excluded from uh, the training. So for example if we are want to test the printouts, so we uh, train on the transparent overlays, uh, the um, colored overlays and the colored silicons. So for this reason we are able, or here we are able, to um, precisely analyze if uh, we can generalize our algorithms to unseen PAA species. So to draw a conclusion, uh, we propose in this work the Kofi Spoof uh, database. This is the first freely available contactless fingerprint PID database, which contains various different PIA uh, species. And we also propose a bona fide pre processing workflow and uh, the evaluation protocols for testing machine learning based detection algorithm. So, our next steps are to capture some additional PIIs and to implement some uh, presentation attack detection algorithms. And yeah, of course, as I said, our database is freely available under this link here. And uh, we also set up a Git repository where you can download our pre-processing, bona fide pre-processing workflow and uh, our petitioning in order to 
uh, do the evaluation. So this concludes my talk. I thank you very much for your attention and of course I'm open for questions.